breaking news, the FBI and Massachusetts State Police I have a big bust involving catalytic converter thefts. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paula Eben. We've been showing you for months how this rash of crimes has created big costs for drivers. Officials say this group of criminals stole hundreds of catalytic converters in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live in South Boston with the latest. Tiffany? Paula, federal investigators dubbed this operation cut and run, arresting seven men based out of western Massachusetts for allegedly stealing hundreds of catalytic converters off cars here in Massachusetts, also in New Hampshire, between 2022 and 2023, pocketing roughly $2 million in the process. Now, U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins telling us that it says, she says it took these men less than a minute to cut the catalytic converters off cars and that that theft ring at times targeted 10 cars per night. She compared their tactics to a NASCAR pit crew where they would also stockpile these precious metals and sell them across state lines to scrap metal dealers, making this now a federal crime. Now, cars without their catalytic converters are basically useless, causing innocent drivers headaches and thousands of dollars worth of repairs. Now, Rollins, along with the FBI and state police, say it took them several months to really narrow in on this investigation, but that this ring, the seven-man ring, their meticulous and organized nature in targeting cars, specific neighborhoods, and the getaway vehicles that they use, their organization, their sophistication is actually what helped them narrow in on these seven men. I'll have more on this story at 5 o'clock. We'll also be talking to a victim who had her catalytic converter stolen. We'll bring you that story on WBZ at 5. Live from Moakley Federal Courthouse in South Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News. Unbelievable. All right, Tiffany, thanks.